Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and follow these agenda. So agenda for the tutorial is we will first create a repository. Then we will stage and commit this repository. Then we will look at the configuring options and then we'll go ahead and look at the state of the repository. So I know all this is kind of confusing. Let's take one step at a time. Now, what is a repository? A repository is nothing but a simple project folder or a folder where you're going to keep all your source code or any kind of files in it. That is what a repository is. Repository means a place where you're going to put all your source code or everything related to the project will go into the repository. So what we're going to do is is we're going to go to the desktop and on my desktop or wherever you want I'm going to go ahead and create a under the desktop I'm going to go ahead and create a folder and I will name the folder as whatever folder name you want to give it you can say my git dash repo so that's my repository so I'm going to go ahead and create this folder under desktop so on my desktop I'm creating this particular folder then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Now this folder is empty. Now I wanted to go ahead and add a file to this particular folder. So let's go ahead and create an HTML file. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, text document. Let's say I will name it as index.html. This is the name of my file. So I'm going to go ahead and name my file as index.html. I'm going to open it and you can go ahead and save it as an HTML. And then go ahead and save it. You want to replace it? Yes. So now, once you have made the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some put some junk in this index.html. So I have just typed down all the index.html file content. So this is what my index.html looks like. I've created a title of the page. You can add any content. It does not have to be HTML. I just took a good, better example so that it'll help you to understand in a code perspective not not just by creating a text file so this particular html file uh, i will add this to one to the resources so you can always just go ahead and copy paste the file from there and uh, how does this uh, file looks like in the browser you can always go back to the folder and run this file in the, with the browser so i'm going to go ahead and open it with the browser and this is how the file looks like it gives you a particular heading here then there are some contents there is some a unordered list that i have added into the uh, index.html so now what we have done is we have created a repository or my or, or a simple project on which i have added this index.html file so now the next thing that we need to do is how we will know that okay i wanted to track or how will git knows that okay i'm i have to track this particular repository and this is the project that i'm working with or this is the repository that i'm working with because on your on your computer there are a bunch of folders how will how will git knows that which particular project or which particular repository that he needs to track so to do that what we're going to go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and initialize our project so first of all let's see which particular directory we are in so there is a command to check out that is called present working directory or pwd it will tell you that okay you are under c user sim now where you need to go to i want to be under this particular uh, folder my git repo this is the place i want to be so what you're going to do is you're going to write a command called change directory cd and then you will provide the path where you want to go so i wanted to go under this particular so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're right now in this particular directory now we wanted to go to this desktop my get repo so how are you going to do it's so let's go ahead and list down what all the files that are present under the sim so let's go to the list down all the files that are present under the sim so you can see that there is a file called desktop available here so we need to go to the desktop because our project folder or our repository is under the desktop so we are going to go ahead and we're going to say desktop here so cd change directory to desktop so we're going to go ahead and write that now what is the present working directory it changed to sim desktop now inside of that we need to go to this particular folder my dash git dash repo so this is the place we are at right now so if i go do the present working directory it's going to go ahead and give me that i'm currently under this particular place why they have a tilted sign the tilted sign means the home directory home directory is nothing but the c users or whatever your name is that is the home directory so it is telling you that you are under the 
desktop under in the my git repo so this is the place you are in right now and then if you if you go ahead and do list of the list of that particular folder you will go ahead and list down all the files that are present right now this clean the screen looks very full if you want to clean the screen means not undo what you have done but just kind of uh, clean slate you can just write the command called clear it will go ahead and clear the particular screen so in this particular git repo folder you have a file present called index.html which is simple html file now how will you know or how will you tell git to whatever this is my repository what you have done so far is you just went to that particular folder now what you need to do here is you need to ready to create our first git repository so we are we are ready to create our first script, uh, git repository and how we will do that by writing this particular command git init so what you're doing here is you're initializing your particular repository so you're telling that okay i am going to go ahead and initialize this particular repository so i have created my first git repository if you look at the folder nothing changed in this particular folder there's no other files got added or anything the reason why it is not visible the changes are not visible because your setting of showing the hidden file is probably turned off so you're not able to see all the hidden files here but there is a command to check out if there is any hidden files present under this folder so you can do that by ls dash of la what this command does is it basically lists down all the hidden files as well so if you go ahead you will see there is a particular there are three more files present along with index.html the reason it's hidden because the git does not want to, you to make any changes to this file these file these are the files which will take care of all the tracking changes so you should never ever play with these files or try to edit these files they are just to make you understand that something did happen by writing this command called git init so you have initialized your git repository now in this git repository what is the current status of your let's say you wanted to know what status your repository is in so it tells you that okay there is no files i'm tracking so i'm not tracking any files now what does that mean what is this untracked file untracked file means git is not tracking that particular file see git will not track each and every file which is present under this folder you need to tell git that okay please go ahead and track this file so we will see how to track a particular file and we will talk about what staging is and how to commit a particular file in the next tutorial but in this tutorial what we did is we just created a uh, uh, project under the desktop and we have initialized our first git repository and we have also created a simple html file which is present under that folder